Hello, welcome to the Almost Newlywed Game. I'm your host, Ross Reitman, and I'm here to interview the groom-to-be, Timothy Kenny. Hopefully, he will be able to answer some of these questions properly, but I doubt that. So there's gonna be three rounds, five questions each, and we're gonna get into the first one. Well, Ross, it's an honor and a pleasure to be here today. I'm very excited to be on the Almost Newlywed Game. Um, my name is Kenny, not Kenny. So uh, let's get this thing started. All right. Excited. Good catch. You might do better than I thought you would. All right, so on to the first question. When you first met, what was the first thing you noticed about Melissa? Well, I will always remember that day, um, walking up Cedar Lane with my friend John Morgan. Um, and Melissa was with Dana, Jesse, and Alana. And I just remember how cute she was, her cute smile, and my friend actually had a crush on her friend Alana and was, you know, wanted to talk to her. So that's the only reason I actually went up and, and actually started speaking to her. But yeah, just her beautiful smile. That was actually a very heart well, heartfelt uh, answer. Yes, I agree. All right, so let's go on to the second one and see how you do. Let's do it. So when did you ask Melissa to marry you? August 15th, 2014, uh, I remember Melissa was on to me. Um, she knew the ring was missing from her grandmother's finger, finger. I tried to play it off a little bit, do it on a Friday when she was uh, coming home from work. She still kind of knew, but I, I sort of pulled it off. So August 15th, 2014. I'm very impressed you knew the specific date of that, but you most people wouldn't. So now on to the next question. Ironclad memory. <laughs> All right, so on to the next question. What would you say is Melissa's most annoying habit? Well, you know, nothing truly annoys me that she does. She's perfect just the way she is. But I'd say when, whenever I scratch a plate with my fork or knife, she can't stand it. And it drives her nuts. So in return, it also drives me nuts. So I'd say her reaction to me scratching my plate with my fork. That's a good one. Like, I know when people do that to me as well, I get very annoyed. Yes. So let's hope she gets that one right and realizes. All right, on to question number four. What would you say is Melissa's catchphrase? You got it, dude. No, she's not Michelle from Full House. Actually, there's a new one, catchphrase, that she uses all the time now um, in all kinds of situations, and it's always um, hot mess. She's a hot mess, or like, she's just a hot mess, or, you know, he's a hot mess all the time. She doesn't even realize she's saying it, but, yeah, hot mess. Yeah, that's an interesting catchphrase, to say the least. Yeah, hot mess. All right, so now we're on to the fifth and final question of round one. Okay. If you came home with one of the following, what would make Melissa the happiest? Flowers, wine, or candy? Well, uh, Melissa loves candy. Um, it depends. If she was a hot mess that day, I'd say wine. Um, but I'm going to say probably candy. Flowers, she likes flowers, but, but candy makes her extremely happy. And that concludes round one. So now we're going to get right into round two. Don't want to keep anyone from doing any drinking games with this. Rapid fire. Maybe hot mess every time <laughs> it's said. Hot mess. Take a shot. All right, so the first question of round two. What would you say is Melissa's favorite holiday movie? Uh, well, Ross, this is an easy one. Um, it's the Santa Claus or, uh, starring Tim Allen. I love the movie, too, so we, we share the love for the Santa Claus. And uh, Tim Allen is one of the greatest of all time. Let's just say, keep it right there. You two should probably send an email thank you to Tim Allen for bringing you two closer together. I'd, I'd love to speak <laughs> to Tim Allen personally. He might come to the wedding. That's... 
All right, so on to question two of round two. What one thing does Melissa find annoying about you? Well, um, I'm sure it's more than one thing, but I would say I have a tendency to smile and laugh in serious situations. Or if, like, or if maybe we're having a little argument and I smile, I laugh, it drives her crazy. It would drive me crazy too, so I understand. That was a very diplomatic way to approach that. I'm a diplomat. <laughs> All right, so on to question three of round two. What one thing does Melissa like to do in her free time? Well, Melissa has many talents, but I'd say um, when she really has free time, she likes to do her arts and crafts, like mosaics and stuff like that. Uh, she's real creative with that stuff. That's a very interesting hobby. I guess, yeah. I hope they're pretty. All right, so on to question four of round two. Other than a degree in fashion, what is Melissa licensed to do? So Melissa has a license to cut hair, uh, do nails, um, I think uh, even give like a facial and stuff. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what she's licensed to do. And to chill, licensed to chill. License to chill. I wonder if you came up with that all by yourself. Uh, I think I ripped it off somewhere. <laughs> Probably. All right, so on to the last question of round two. Other than baseball, what sport would Melissa say you like to play? Well, Melissa should definitely know this because I'm a Batia player all the way. Uh, Batia champion, the first uh, Red Bull Dave Batia tournament. Uh, we won the championship last year uh, outside of Yankee Stadium, so she should definitely know this. Okay. You seem very confident with that answer. Hopefully she's as confident as you. And that wraps up round two, and we'll begin round three very shortly. For round three, by special request, we have a guest to join us. So let's see her come here so she could join us. Come on. Oh, everyone, this is Charlotte, probably the only person that maybe Tim and Melissa love more than each other. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> okay, so we're going to have Charlotte help me with this. She wants to sit down when she's comfortable. Find All a right. good spot, Charlotte. Okay, so you ready, Charlotte? Let's get ready for the first question of the final round. If Melissa could bring only one item on your honeymoon, what would she bring? Well, this is by far the easiest question of the entire program so far. Um, Melissa would bring sheets for the bed because she will not sleep on any hotel sheets. Um, so this one should be very easy for her. I have a feeling she's going to get that one right too. Let's hope so. All right, so the second question. <clears throat> If Melissa could only keep one thing she owns, what would it be? Well, there's one thing Melissa has that she would never give up under any circumstance, and that's Charlotte. The world could be ending, and uh, she'd keep Charlotte safe. Trust me on that. From what I've heard, her mother might have something to say <laughs> about that. All right. I think this question is in honor of Charlotte. So... What was Melissa's first pet, and what was its name? I'm going with Oreo the bunny, and uh, he used to hop around. He was a cool bunny, so I'm going with Oreo. So one of Oreo's best friends was Charlotte. Charlotte did love her, so I know she likes your answer. All right, the fourth question of round three. What would Melissa say is your favorite place to eat? Um, without a doubt, Al's Charcoal Pit. The friendly atmosphere, the 
impeccable service, um, the amazing food, you can't beat it, Cedar Lane staple, Al's charcoal pit all the way. I have heard really good things about that place. Great place. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. This is the last question of the round and the game. That's it? That's it. Okay. All right. So you better get this one. If Melissa could get rid of one thing you own, what would it be? Well, my first instinct is just to say anything Mets related, but I'm going to say the, uh, the license plate covers on my car. I have a, a Mets one on the back and a Jets one on the front, and she's always telling me I should take it down, and uh, even my friends tell me to take it down, so I'm going to go with that. She sounds like a smart woman. All right, and that is our game. Thank you, Tim, for joining us and doing such a great job. Melissa, hopefully you'll get all the same answers as Tim. Otherwise, it might be a little bit embarrassing, probably to Tim more than you. And I hope everyone else joining in is ha has so much fun at the bridal shower. And Charlotte wants you to have fun too. Tim? Oh. So now I finally get to hold Charlotte, but Ross, thank you so much for being such a great host. Um, it was a good time. Melissa, I tried my best to answer um, the way I think we would both think, but you know, hopefully we're on the same page with most of them. I hope everybody's having a great time and I love you and uh, it, it was a great time. So, And one final shout out to our cameraman, producer, uh, CEO of Del Boca Vista Productions. Any events you guys might have, you needed somebody to film something, this is your man. So thanks, thanks a lot, Mike. Appreciate it. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Mike. <laughs>